Okay. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, get the lower back supported, and relax your arms. Reach their head toward the ceiling, spreading your toes out. And just take a moment to breathe. Inhale, letting the diaphragm drop and the belly move out as you fill your lungs. And as you exhale, just sink it in, emptying everything, tension and toxins. And just keep that inner focus as we practice today. Um, warming up, bring your arms to shoulder level, but keep your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale out to the front and exhale around behind you. Clasp the fingers, press them down, lift your heart, give your good back bend stretch and then pivot at your hips as you exhale, come on over. And just deepen as much as you would like today, lifting your sitting bones, stretching the back of your leg and your spine. Move your chin around, neck releasing and just breathe. Knees slightly bent, drop the sitting bones, lift the ribs, and just wind from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top into a nice back bend one more time. So stretching your head back, spreading your toes out, lifting your heart, just breathing. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and again, take a moment just feeling how your body responds. Again, inhaling, arms to the sides, hands to your heart, and out to the front. Exhale those hands behind you, clasp the opposite way, so shift the fingers in one position over. And again, lift your heart into the back bend as deeply as you'd like. Pivot over as you exhale. Let those hands go up toward the ceiling, toward your head, and get those shoulders moving. Take a few breaths there, just reaching down with your head toward your feet. And then bending your knees again, just slightly work your way all the way into the back bend. And again, just feel your whole spine moving as you breathe. Heart high, don't lift the chin too high. Keep that neck stretching out. And then inhale back upright, releasing your arms. As you get back into your standing position, mountain pose, just take a moment feeling a little bit more energized through the spine. We'll do our side stretches, so lateral motion to the spine next. Let's keep one hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away and lean to the side. So no twist on this one, keep both shoulders facing the front and slide the hand as far down your leg as it wants to go. Push the opposite foot down, get those ribs opening. And then inhale to the top, exhale that arm down. Feel the difference and do the other side. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Again, stretching it away, leaning to the other direction. And again, the foot goes down as you reach out your head and hands, just slide this other hand wherever it wants to fall. Take a breath, relaxing, and then inhale back up, exhale the arm out and down. Shoulders back and down a couple of times, getting everything released, and spine straight, spreading apart for our twist. So bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasping your elbows, spreading your toes, stretching your spine apart, Exhale and twist. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, pivot in the twist all the way as deeply as you like. Take a breath or two, just relaxing. Lift your sitting bones, relax your shoulders, arms by your ears, and staying in the twist, inhale your way back up and into the upper body only for your back bend, no pressure in your twisted low back. Shoulders down, chest high, just breathe. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. Again, arms by your ears, sitting bones down, spine stretching up and exhale to the other side. 
a breath in and exhale over. And again, just deepen as far as you'd like on this side, relaxing, lifting your sitting bones and feeling your body. On an inhalation, come on up into that upper body back bend. And again, chest high, shoulders down, and breathing as you pull those elbows back. So remember, upper body back bend. And then inhale upright, exhale right to the center. Extend your arms up and reach for the ceiling. Crown and fingers up, sitting bones down. Sink evenly into your feet. Feel that support. Turn your palms out, shoulder level. Pivot at your hips, chest leading. And drop in the right down. So just hang however deeply you'd like. Lift your sitting bones, get the legs stretching a little bit more. And don't forget to breathe. You can pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you like that stretch on the back. Tuck in your chin. And then bending your knees. Work your way slowly up one more time. And again, into mountain pose. Feel the spine stretching open, toes spreading apart. Feel the breath filling you. And just relax into both feet. And well, let's do our balance warm up. So take your favorite balance foot, start on the better one, lift the toes, make sure the ball of the foot area is really connected, spread the toes out so that base of the toe, but not the toes themselves, are giving you support. Arches lifting, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core activated, so keep that spine supported. Crown to the ceiling, and bring the other foot up a little or more or towards your chest. And again, when it gets up, make sure you're not crossing the leg over and then work your ankle around. So turn it both directions, circling, keeping it flexible, and then flexing and pointing to straighten it out, bring that foot back down, shift over to the other foot, taking what worked, improving the rest. So really get the base of the toes working and not gripping your toes. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active, shoulders back and down. And when you're ready, get that support and bring the other leg up as far as it wants to go. Get stable. And when you are, you can work your ankle because we want to make sure we stay flexible. And when you're ready, flex and point to release. Sitting bones down, shoulders back and down, hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Nice back bend as you pull those thumbs back, looking at them, lifting your heart. Exhale, hands to your chest, pivot on over. Drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Let that spine stretch. And then hands under your knees on your shins. Press gently in. Elbows, knees, and spine straightening and stretching. Exhale back down. Ragdoll. Palms together. Inhaling. And again to your heart. Oh, another back bend because those are just good for our spine. And then again, hands to your heart. Back into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feeling your body. Spread your toes out. Get everything aligned again for another balance practice. So get the core active, shoulders back and down, and everything aligned. And then turn your foot all the way to the side, knee and toes going out the same direction, and that heel near your arch. And then we're going into tree. So just slide the heel up a little if you're balance challenged today or to your calf, not your knee or your thigh. Or you can cross it in front of your thigh if you prefer a little lotus movement. And then bring your hands to your heart, find your stability. As you're there, you can stay there or you can bring your hands straight up or around and up into the sky, reaching your tree to the sun. So branches up, shoulders still down toward your waist, knee as much out to the side as you can. Take a breath. Exhale those arms back to your heart. Turn the knee to the front and set it down into mountain pose. 
Again, feel what worked, feel what you need to improve. So toes straight ahead, everything lined up, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, core active. And again, sink into that balanced foot, turn the other foot out. Get everything as aligned as you can. Remember, you always want the knee going the same direction as your toes. Bring the heel up a little or more or toward your thigh. And again, find your stability and make sure you're planted in that foot into rooting your tree before you move your arms. Feeling any tension. When you're ready to move those arms, you can do it. Or you can stay down if that's where you are today. Hands back to your heart, knee to the front before you put it back down and release. Exhale all that stress and tension from our balance practice as you're in that pose. Take a moment to breathe. And then again, hands to your heart. Bring them out and around and up. Look overhead, hands together, coming into your back bend. Swan dive forward, hands coming out to shoulder level. Pivot at your hips, chest leading, stretch it out. Drop into ragdoll. Slide the hands up under your knees and stretch and straighten. And then bending your knees, exhale all the way down to the floor. Hips back on your heels, hands palms up and forehead down to the floor. Take a moment in child's pose, just relaxing as much as feels good for you today. Exhale any tightness, let those shoulders drop forward. And then inhaling, sit up, slide off, and come into staff position, legs extended to the front. Sitting bones slightly behind you. Remember, you can pad if you need to to get that tilt, making it easier to sit. Knees up, toes up, feet hip width apart. We're going to do our hip warm-ups. So go ahead and bring the foot up to your opposite thigh, knee coming down. Add a little weight from your hands if you'd like or not your choice, but don't press. Keep that leg out in front or bring it to the side for a little bit easier opening through the hip if you prefer. And again, personal practice, do what's right. And remember, one side is gonna be easier than the other because creatures of habit, we use our hips in the same way, getting in and out of the car and chairs and desks and whatever. So just let each side do what it needs to do. Don't force anything. Letting it relax, knee coming as far as it wants, just releasing. And then foot and knee into your hands or wrapping your arms around, pull the leg in for a little more intensity and rotate side to side. Get that hip warming up even more. And again, if you love it, as it gets easier, you can go higher or closer or both, or neither, whatever's right for your body. And then exhaling once more, release that leg back into staff position and feel what's going on, how different the two sides are. So yeah, balancing the body, we do the other one. Bring the foot up, knee coming down. Just notice, is this the easy side or the hard side? Whichever way it is, just let it do its thing. No pressure, a little extra weight if you like with your hands, or you can move the leg again over to the side. Your choice, be where your body needs to be today. Just let it happen, don't force anything. Take a breath, just exhale, releasing and relaxing any tightness anywhere. And then again, hands around your knee and ankle or wrapping your arms and pulling it in. Just rotate, getting that hip outside of your leg and hip joint a little bit warmer. Take a few breaths there, always relaxing, letting that leg and hip and everything just move side to side. Warming it up, doing it more or not, your choice. And again, exhaling, release, and back into staff position. Feel your body. Notice those hips getting a little bit easier. And then feet together, bring your heels in near your body into your butterfly position. 
hands clasped under your toes, knees coming out and down toward the sides. Just let it release all that inner thigh stretch. Bring your hands under your shoulders, just a little pressure into them. And as that happens, maybe those knees will come a little further down or maybe not. Kind of angle the bottoms of your feet up toward the ceiling. That keeps things better aligned for that opening. And don't forget to keep breathing. Exhaling any tightness, whatever it is in your body, let it just go. All the tension releasing completely. And then bringing your hands back to the front. Lift your knees and bring the legs back into staff position. So take a moment there, feeling your body, those sitting bones slightly behind you, toes pulling up and back and heels pressing out. Keep that core active, supporting you. We're gonna do a little work with our um, whole body in cow's head pose. So this one's a little intense. We're gonna do something with our legs that sometimes is a little bit too much. So if it's too much for you, remember you can always just do a little cross leg position with your legs. So bring the right heel back next to your left hip with the knee pointing to the front. And then take your left knee on top and pull that heel back near your hip on the other side. Knees more or less stacked above each other. So there'll be space for most people. That's okay, we have tight hips. So if you want the feet further out, keep them sort of across from each other as much as you can to get that area aligned. Both sitting bones are sort of on the floor. This one on the upper leg may be up a little, that's okay. And then since our Left knee is on top. We bring our right arm out, turn the palm toward the ceiling, bring the arm over your shoulder, and then bring it down by your neck. Now, as you do that, you'll probably push your head forward. So take your hand and push the elbow back and push your head into that arm behind you. So everything is straight in your spine and that elbow is going straight up. Hands sliding down your neck and into your middle of your back. And then take your opposite hand around, bend the elbow, and see if you can clasp your hands behind you. If you can, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Just hold your shirt and work it toward each other. Or if we were more prepared, we would say, have a strap nearby to do that because that also works to hold it in your upper hand and then use your lower hand to work up along the strap. So elbows in toward your spine, both of them. And then the upper one goes up and the lower one goes down. And as you're focusing on all that upper body work, your hips and legs are probably relaxing a little bit and feeling not as tense and tight as they did when you first came into that seated position. Don't forget, keep pushing your head back. Don't lean forward, don't round your spine. Take a breath, exhale. Just deepen as far into it as you like. And then releasing your arms, feel all that shoulder area get circulation again. Oh yeah, release your legs as well. So back in staff position, feel more circulation through your shoulders, through your hips, through your body. Oh, but of course, yeah, we got to balance the body and do it on the other side. So this time, opposite heel coming back first. So mine's the left heel going to the right, but if you did it opposite, just reverse. And then the right one on top. And again, the heels as much across from each other near your hips or further out as works for you. Just begin trying to relax through those hips. Oh, you remember Yoga, Yoda said, no, there is no try, there is do or not do. So if you're not doing, just go into a cross leg position if you need to. So those heels are across from each other and the knees are more or less stacked or you're in cross leg position. And this time we've got the right leg on top. So the left arm comes out or the opposite one. Palm up, arm over your shoulder. Sink evenly down as much as you can. This one may be up a little bit, that's okay. Bend your elbows, slide it down the back of your head and then push it with your other hand, pull that in but push your head back so that spine stays straight. You're not rounding forward. Everything is stacked in your spine. 
Get that elbow in. When you're ready, release the hand. Bend the elbow on the right arm and see if you clasp on this side. So interestingly, some people do easily on both sides. Some people never do on either side. And some people only do on one side, but not the other. So just kind of notice what your body does. Make sure you're pushing your head back, bringing those elbows toward your spine and then away from each other, either clasping the hands if you can, or holding the strap and working up, or your shirt and working up so that those hands get closer whenever they're ready to, but remember, never force it. Just let it go where it goes, and then relax, and maybe it'll incrementally get a little bit more improved as you practice. Take a breath. Always just relaxing so that things can incrementally improve in your position wherever you start. Take another breath, sinking and exhaling and relaxing. Maybe noticing that those hips are sinking a little bit deeper as you focus more on that upper body and then just relax the upper body as well. And when you're ready to release, just unwind those arms. Feel all that circulation back through the shoulders and arms. And yeah, release your legs. So back in staff position, just feel your body a little bit more warmed up through those hips. And we'll do one more hip thing today, pigeon. So to start that, we're going to come up on our hands and knees into table position. I always think this is the easiest way to get into pigeon. So get your back nice and straight, lifting those ribs, supporting your lower back. Wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up. You won't be here long. If you've got wrist issues, though, circle anytime, or just put your fists down rather than your palms. We're going to take the right knee between the thumbs and slide the left leg back, getting that hip flexor on the front of your left thigh, stretching apart a little bit more. And then we're gonna take the right knee over toward the right side of the mat and pull the heel up as far as perpendicular with that shin to the rest of your body. So it may never get perpendicular, that's okay. It can still be heel back near your, your hips, that's okay too. And then, Hands under your shoulders, move the chest forward and look slightly up. Stretch the back of your neck though, and just sink evenly through your hips down toward the floor. So if that heel is under you, you won't get as far, that's okay. And if you feel like, oh, this is a little stressful and straining, you can slide your hands forward and bring your elbows down where your hands were under your shoulders, hands out to the front. And just allow your whole body to sink through the hips, move the chest forward and look slightly to the front. But remember, don't crunch your neck a lot. You don't have to look forward. So if you're on your forearms, just let everything relax. This is gonna be easier on those hips. So you're stretching the hip flexor in front of your thigh on the left side, and you're working your hip rotator on the right side. So just let it relax. If you're still up on your hands, that's okay. Just keep that chest forward and shoulders down as much as you want. And if you want to be a little bit more intense in that hip flexor on your left leg, you can bend your knee and bring that back foot up toward your head and stretch your head back. I don't do that, but you can do it if you want. Take a breath. If you're still on your forearms, slide your hands back under your shoulders. And give it one good back stretch with the heart forward and the head up. And then press into both hands, slide your front knee back and your back knee up and come back into table position. You can sink back on your hips to get things a little more straightened out and then back into table so we can pigeon on the opposite side. So again, starting there, wrist, elbows and shoulders lined up and knees and hips lined up. Slide the left knee forward and the right leg back. And again, feel the hip flexor just starting to sink. Exhale any tension. Take your left knee way over to the left side of the mat. Pull that heel as far forward as it wants to go for your hip rotator. And sink both hips down toward the floor. Chest forward and crown high, looking to the front. Shoulders back and down, heart open in your pigeon. 
stay there if that's lovely for you, or slide onto your elbows if you want a little easier release. So chest forward, hips coming down, whichever position you're in, letting things maximize as those hips drop, giving that front of your thigh a good stretch, letting that hip rotator just release a little bit more easily as it works into that position. Again, you can have your hands still under your shoulders or you can be on your forearms, whichever works for you. Just chest slightly forward in whichever position you're in. Shoulders, shoulder blades always toward your waist. Exhaling, sinking those hips evenly down. If you're still on your forearms, go ahead, bringing those hands back under your shoulders. And again, as you get up, one more new little back bend, chest forward and stretch your neck. And again, all those lovely young people who want to bend your knee and intensify, do that. But then coming back upright, bring your body back into table position. And once more, sink back into child's pose for a little release. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels, bring your legs all the way to the front of the mat. Activate your core, spine nice and straight as you begin, and just roll onto the floor. So coming onto your back, just get ready for a real quick little twist before our relaxation. Hands out, palms up or down, sitting bones toward your heels, heels up near your sitting bones. Press your back down gently and lift your feet off the floor, knees above your hips. You can cross your leg over if you want a little more intensity as you go into the twist or keep them next to each other and roll the hips over to the side. Head turning the opposite direction, both shoulders down and just coming into your twist for a little balance and release through the whole spine and energy. Take a breath, letting the knee come down, lower back twist, head turning, neck twist, Shoulders down, middle back, let it go. But in order to have our relaxation, just pull your hip heels toward your hips and roll onto your back. Uncross your legs and cross them the other way if you have them crossed. And of course, we're going to roll the heel, the knees over the opposite direction. So again, knees coming over at hip level and head turning toward that opposite arm behind you. Keep the shoulders down, nice middle back twist. And just let the neck do what it needs to do and the lower back and hips do what they need to do. Always personal practice, especially in the twists. Just relaxing as you exhale. And then again, of course, we can't hold it very long. So heels toward your hips or roll onto your back and um, cross your feet. Slide into corpse position, feet hip width apart, toes toward each other, hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades down into the mat. And then just relax your legs, relax your hips, lots of stuff there today, so let them release. Shoulders relaxing and just let your jaw, your whole body soften and sink. And just connect into that earth support beneath you and let your body go. Deep breaths in. Exhale, any tension left anywhere in your body. And as you breathe deeply, just allow your body to soften and your mind to drift, allowing any thoughts to release from your awareness. As you release the thoughts of your body, other thoughts will fill your mind. Just let them go as well. Exhaling, thoughts drifting like a cloud beyond the horizon, out of sight out of mind. And as you release your thoughts and your body, just allow your awareness to find that peace within. Focus on the peace, feeling your breath, feeling your body, feeling your mind, feeling your being only with peace.
And if you have time to keep relaxing, take all the time you want. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Now, as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing and stretching whenever you're ready to do that. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels coming toward your hips, and knees drawing up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around wherever feels right for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And whenever you're ready to release that, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.